Transcendentalism Transcendentalism emerged as a philosophical and literary movement in 19th century America, challenging established norms and advocating for individualism, intuition, and the inherent goodness of humanity. Influenced by Romanticism and Eastern philosophies, Transcendentalists like Ralph Waldo Emerson and Henry David Thoreau emphasize the importance of self-reliance, non-conformity, and communion with nature as paths to spiritual enlightenment and societal renewal. Their writings, including Emerson's Nature and Thoreau's Walden, inspired a broader cultural awakening and contributed to the development of environmentalism, civil disobedience, and the American identity. Postmodernism Postmodernism emerged as a critical response to modernity and the Enlightenment project, challenging notions of universal truth, progress, and stability. Rejecting grand narratives and meta-narratives, postmodernists like Jean-Francois Lyotard, Jacques Derrida, and Michel Foucault questioned the authority of language, power structures, and cultural norms, emphasizing plurality, contingency, and the fluidity of meaning. Their critiques extended to philosophy, literature, art, architecture, and popular culture, fostering a skepticism towards totalizing ideologies and celebrating diversity, irony, and self-reflexivity. Utilitarianism, utilitarianism, developed by philosophers like Jeremy Bentham and John Stuart Mill, posits that the morality of an action is determined by its ability to maximize overall happiness or pleasure and minimize suffering or pain for the greatest number of people. It emphasizes the importance of consequences and utility in ethical decision-making, influencing fields such as ethics, politics, and economics. Existentialism. Existentialism, associated with philosophers like Jean-Paul Sartre and Soren Kierkegaard, focuses on individual freedom, choice, and responsibility in a seemingly indifferent or absurd universe. It emphasizes subjective experience, authenticity, and the search for meaning in life, influencing fields such as philosophy, literature, and psychology. Stoicism. Stoicism, developed by ancient philosophers like Epictetus, Seneca, and Marcus Aurelius, teaches that virtue, reason, and inner tranquility are the keys to living a good life, regardless of external circumstances. It emphasizes acceptance of the natural order, resilience in the face of adversity, and the development of wisdom and self-discipline, influencing fields such as ethics, psychology, and personal development. Hedonism. Hedonism holds that pleasure or happiness is the highest good and primary goal of human life, advocating for the pursuit of pleasure and the avoidance of pain. It comes in various forms, including ethical hedonism, psychological hedonism, and hedonistic utilitarianism, influencing fields such as ethics, psychology, and aesthetics. Rationalism. Rationalism emphasizes the role of reason and logic as the primary sources of knowledge and justification, contrasting with empiricism's emphasis on sensory experience. It has historical roots in the works of philosophers like René Descartes and Gottfried Wilhelm Leibniz, influencing fields such as epistemology, metaphysics, and philosophy of mind. Empiricism. Empiricism holds that knowledge comes primarily from sensory experience and observation, emphasizing evidence, experimentation, and induction as the basis of scientific inquiry. It has been championed by philosophers like John Locke, David Hume, and John Stuart Mill, influencing fields such as epistemology, philosophy of science, and psychology. Idealism Idealism posits that reality is fundamentally mental or spiritual in nature, with ideas, minds, 
or consciousness, playing a central role in shaping the world. It has historical roots in the works of philosophers like Plato, George Berkeley, and Immanuel Kant, influencing fields such as metaphysics, epistemology, and philosophy of religion. Pragmatism. Pragmatism emphasizes practical consequences, utility, and the experiential consequences of beliefs as the criteria for evaluating their truth or meaning. Developed by philosophers like Charles Sanders Peirce, William James, and John Dewey, it has influenced fields such as philosophy of science, education, and politics. Nihilism. Nihilism rejects traditional values, meaning, and authority, often embracing skepticism, despair, or existential angst in the face of an ultimately meaningless or indifferent universe. It has been explored by philosophers like Friedrich Nietzsche and Fyodor Dostoevsky, influencing fields such as existentialism, literature, and cultural criticism. Dualism. Dualism posits the existence of two fundamentally distinct substances or realms, such as mind and body, spirit and matter, or good and evil. It has been explored by philosophers like René Descartes and Plato, influencing fields such as metaphysics, philosophy of mind and theology, materialism. Materialism holds that reality consists solely of physical matter or energy, rejecting the existence of non-physical substances or entities. It has been advocated by philosophers like Thomas Hobbes, Karl Marx, and Friedrich Engels, influencing fields such as metaphysics, philosophy of science, and political theory. Naturalism. Naturalism asserts that the natural world is all that exists, without recourse to supernatural or spiritual explanations, emphasizing scientific methods and empirical evidence in understanding reality. It has been championed by philosophers like Thomas Henry Huxley and John Dewey, influencing fields such as philosophy of science, ethics, and philosophy of religion. If you wish to learn more about other terms, don't forget to subscribe.